I'm Allison Lamons, your next Florida Bells artist. Yahoo! I got it all. I'm the total package. Uh, let's see, what can I tell you about myself? I'm from South Florida. My parents had a real estate company for many years and sold uh, hotels, motels, and apartment buildings on deep water canals and oceanfront. That's what they specialized in. My father formerly was an ad man in New York, so I guess he instilled in me a slight love of South Florida tropics, kitsch, advertising, neon, all that. I guess it came from him. Anyway, um, I graduated from Fort Lauderdale High School and then went on to the Art Institute of Fort Lauderdale where I graduated with honors, uh, earning the uh, best portfolio uh, upon graduation. Um, and then went into architecture uh, and interior design. So I have a little bit of range there too. Um, let's see. Later on, I worked and traveled abroad in Europe. I worked at uh, the Peggy Guggenheim collection in Venice, Italy, while I lived with a famous Venetian artist there and his family. Um, then I came back to the States and uh, got married, had children, and for the past 17 years, I have been married to a boat captain and former firefighter and uh, helping my husband with his business enterprises and uh, a homeschool mom to my three daughters, which are, I've got two teenagers and one almost a teenager. Um, as of about a year ago, my husband told me it was time to get started and set me free to begin to work on my long awaited art career. I was ready. I told him I was ready. Anyway, I started off in my own hometown of Lakeland, Florida. I uh, was accepted to the art show there and won an award at my very first art show. Went up to Atlanta and won best in category at the Atlanta Art Festival. I applied to Coconut Grove Art Festival, was accepted there and did some wonderful sales. And then I went to the Tampa uh, Mainsail Art Festival um, and was selected to be the next feature artist for the 2016 show. So I'm currently drawing upon my own sailing experiences of many years ago when I sailed aboard as a crew member on a 38-foot catch and sailed from Costa Rica to Hawaii after helping outfit that boat with a complete overhaul in Fort Lauderdale. Um, let's see. So I know the coastal life. I've lived it. Been there. And as far as being an artist, I've been an artist my whole life as well. Um, let's see. Um, what else can I say? I draw, oh, I paint vintage neon signs. That's what I paint. Currently, my thing. Vintage neon signs. I feel like artistically they give me all the vocabulary I need to create something just simply fun and straightforward, something people, everybody can relate to neon. We've all grown up with it, it's worldwide, it's universal. It speaks a language that can transcend, uh, you know, uh, just the visual, just iconography, because it incorporates text. So I can play with that to create messages and meanings. I can do allegorical pieces such as this, The Breeze, uh, based on a song by J.J. Kale, or something straightforward. Um, my husband loves deep sea fishing, and so I created this piece for him using what would have been on a sign uh, painted about 50 years ago, at least, um, of a, a Hatteras from the 50s, a vintage Hatteras. I've done work from historic sources, such as this one. I shot this uh, picture of England's fishing pier and developed it in the darkroom myself at least 30 years ago, back when I was at the Art Institute of Fort Lauderdale. It doesn't look like this anymore, but this is, I brought it back to life in full color and painted the original Anglin's Fishing Pier. So I work from historic archived sources. I can work from black and white. I can invent them and make them up myself, which I, I quite often do. Um, just totally invent them up, like the Gulf Stream. It, it's invented. The Breeze is invented. Charity is invented. Polk Theater is from a historic source. This is my hometown, Lakeland, Florida. And we have this beautiful theater, the Polk Theater. Love that sign, just love it. So my work is what I call tropical industrial. It's sexy, it's nostalgic, it's gritty with the nuts and bolts and the, the rust and the, and the peeling paint and whatnot. 
So it appeals to a vast audience. You got your younger, tattoo, body pierce types, skateboardy types that, that love it. And you got your old Route 66 types that love it, that drove to Florida on vacations with their family and, and love, you know, reminiscing about these places that I bring back to life through my artwork. It's something that not too many people are doing. A lot of people are into photographing old signs, but not too many people are painting them. Um, so it sets me apart. These are watercolors. A lot of people comment on how vivid they are, uh, uncharacteristic of watercolor. And I do put a special finish over the neon tubing, a little iridescent finish that gives it a shimmer when you walk past and the light bounces off just the neon tubing. So it gives it an extra element of pop and illumination and realism to make it seem like it's really glowing in the light. So I have a lot of fun doing these things. Um, I'm award winning, I'm new, I'm current, I'm fresh. What more do you want? Everybody likes it. I'm your next artist. <laughs> Thanks, see ya.